Here's a case called small intestine Crohn's disease. And I think you could recognize this as being a small bowel. I think you can also, and hopefully instantly, recognize the fact that it's terribly abnormal. You can see that there is inflammation very extensively throughout the mucosa and the submucosa. And I bet we'll even find some inflammatory cells there in the muscularis like we see here and here. And also the uh, serosa is extensively infiltrated as well. So this is a pan, uh, full thickness, uh, small bowel inflammation. This is primary inflammatory bowel disease. And even though primary inflammatory uh, bowel disease generally falls into two categories, either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, there are a few little hints, uh, both grossly and microscopically, that can help you quickly differentiate the two. First of all, in Crohn's disease, classically is inflammation of the full thickness of the bowel wall which we see here, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and adventitia. Another nice thing to find, and I'm not going to take the time to do it because sometimes it uh, takes a long time, are granulomas. If you see granulomas, this is almost entirely indicative of Crohn's disease as well, which is why Crohn's disease is also called granulomatous colitis. Also notice that uh, the mucosa here is ulcerated and uh, entirely absent in this area. And uh, I don't think there's much more we can show you. I think we can show you that the cells of um, inflammation in all the areas of, are all different kinds of cells. They're neutrophils, they're lymphocytes, they're histiocytes. And uh, depending on how acute or chronic it is clinically and pathologically, you'll see some more than others. Thank you very much.